What is up, everyone? Welcome back. It is a dreary Tuesday afternoon. Just got home from work. Went to check the mailbox, and we got some goodies to open up today. Um, now, truth told, this is a couple of days worth of stuff. I have been hella, hella busy lately, um, so I really have not had a chance to do a video. Technically, I probably should have done one yesterday, um, but just got way busy with everything, and uh, um, I've, I've got a huge um, autograph collection that I had acquired over the weekend, and I've been trying to slowly work my way through that. I a ton of sorting I've got to do to kind of get everything organized. So I have not had a good, good chance to uh, to really try and do um, a video up until now. And really, I'm just trying to get this one in. Because um, this is... God, I think the autograph collection, it's all minor league baseball stuff. But it's probably... Anywhere, it's at least 5,000 cards, probably closer to like 7,500. Um, I really have no idea. There's probably 25 binders that are all like two inch thick binders um, full of cards. So it's it's going to be a, a big project to work through all that stuff and to kind of get it ready. Um, I kind of gave it a once through and pulled a bunch of stuff out for myself as far as Mets stuff goes and actually did... Uh, pretty good. I think I found somewhere in the neighborhood of about 40 some odd cards already um, for my team sets. So that was a, a great get with that. Um, and uh, pretty soon here I'll, I'll kind of be hitting up some people and seeing if they need some help with some sets. So um, I'll kind of throw that out there. No guarantees um, that I've got anything, but if you are working on any particular minor league baseball sets, let's say from like about 2000 up through like the early 2000s all the way up to maybe about like 2013 2014 um primarily stuff like international league um a little bit of stuff from like the eastern league um and then just like some oddball stuff here and there but mainly independent or international league and some eastern league stuff um, but if you, there's any particular teams that you have been working on sets for, hit me up with a comment and, um, I'll see if I can locate anything there and we can figure something out. Uh, but for today, let's go ahead and move on to our returns here. So I always like to try and get the bad stuff out of the way first. So we did get an RTS here. Um, Ed Leftwich, um, this is a guy for my NC State basketball set. And this was one I had just kind of taken a shot in the dark with. Um, I thought that maybe that might have been it, but um, no such luck. And this thing, I sent this out back in March of 2021. So you can kind of see there, March. And just now getting back. So like six months or three months it's been out there. Um, so definitely took a while. But let's go ahead and talk about the five standard envelopes that we got. Um, I do want to mention this one here. So we'll, we'll kind of, we'll start off with this one. Um, this is one, <laughs> this is one that ended up going to my old address and I had uh, figured out that there was something that had been delivered to my old address and they didn't have the mail forwarding going on with it. You know, I had to reach out to my post office and kind of went to them about it and somehow this very same envelope that was delivered to my old address has now been delivered to my new address and i know it's the exact same one um in part because of the post stamp there from metroplex michigan um so my my only thing i can figure out is that they went to my old ad one of two things happened either they went to my old address and they picked up that piece of mail from uh the person living there now and then delivered it or somehow the or, or the uh, person living there now like did a return to sender or you know not here type of deal, um, and uh, it ended up there, which I haven't really checked to see. And I'm just kind of curious. Nope. Um, I was checking to see if maybe they wrote something underneath it, like you know, like when you do an RTS on something. Yeah, nothing like that. So this is just straight up legit. Um, so let's go ahead and start, and you can tell this is an old one because I haven't used these uh, self-seal stamps in a while. Um, and I I know who this is. Yep, 
exactly. Justin Abdelkader. Um, he has been signing care of his home up there in the Detroit area for a bit now. And um, I would sent out, gosh, these went out probably sometime in like December, maybe. November, December. Um, and uh, he's a tough in-person guy. Like, I, I think I've gotten him maybe like once or twice through his entire career. And he's a one per if you can actually even get him. So he's not an easy guy, easy guy to get. Um, but was able to score him on all three of these Opeachy sets here. Um, these two I'm actively working on. This one is kind of like, yeah, okay, I'll work on this one as well. Um, but the Opeachies, I know they'll, they'll sign well. I really don't have to work worry about the smear. So um, awesome get to get that because I figured that these were gone. Um, yeah, like I said, the, those were probably out for a good six months or so. All right, next up. Let's go to Tampa, St. Petersburg. Um, this is either going to be, I would say, probably a baseball return or maybe even a wrestling return. But let's see what we get here. Oh, cool. Actually, it's a hockey return. Don Koharski. Um, the 91-92 Pro Set Referees. Um, if you remember, it's been a while, but I was doing, I had a good little bit of luck here. Give me just a sec. I'm going to turn a light on here to hopefully get rid of some of these shadows. And that made it worse. So let's try that again. Okay. We're just going to run this way here. It's, it's a little bit dark, but I'd rather have the darkness than the uh, shadows where we can't see anything. Um, but I had sent out to several of the referees, and this was one I didn't get back. Uh, and I was just kind of like, okay, well, maybe I had an address wrong or something like that. And I kind of chalked it up that, all right, maybe I'm just not going to get this back. So uh, kind of stoked to get this these back. And uh, these are out for uh, several months as well. So um, took a bit longer than expected there, to be honest. But I uh, signed a great 404 in blue Sharpie there. So I'm um, a great get with that. And uh, now I got to go back through and see exactly who I am still missing out of that set now and uh, see if I can maybe locate some more. And just so that you know, my uh, my little sidekick here, my cat, she it's like a moth to a flame. She's sitting here just off camera. And right now she's rubbing her face on one of the envelopes I just opened up. So I'm hoping that'll keep her distracted until we get through the video today. Um, but I'm not really holding out much hope because she's... She's like that. <laughs> all right, let's let's uh, let's go up to the Great White North for this one. Um, this is all white here. We don't even have a postmark on here, uh, but obviously we do know it's coming from Canada based on the stamp. So this could be any number of things. So let's see what we get here. All right, nice. Alexander Daig. So I had written to him once before last year and um, I had sent out to him his Rangers cards. He spent some time playing for the Rangers and I sent out like one of his rookie cards. But um, you guys know I'm a fan of the international cards, Team Canada, Team USA, things like that. So um, I actually went through and pulled some of his various World Juniors cards and fired these out. And got a nice solid return on them. Um, these were out for eh, not that long. Like probably between one to two months. Um, and a nice get back. Uh, everything looks nice and clean, clear, and uh, signed in a blue Sharpie. So another great return from uh, Alexander Daig. All right. So three for three so far. Let's go to Charleston, South Carolina. Um, I'm not quite sure what this one is. Um, it's very thin. So this is maybe like a single card that I sent, something like that. Oh, nice. Cool. We have added to the NC State collection. So we got one return to sender, but we do have a success. And actually, this was sent out at the same time as the uh, Ed Leftwich was. So um, Jim Risinger um, sent out 
he's only got one card in the set. Uh, most of these guys do have multiple cards, but he's one that only has a single card. So um, I, I would have to go back and look and see, but I would guess that I had sent out more than this. Um, so I don't know if maybe he opted to just keep some of them or if he um, didn't keep any. I'm not sure. Um, but I know I wouldn't have asked for three of the same one back. Um, usually I limit it to two with that. So he may have kept one and then sent one along with it. Um, but a solid return there. So I think that gets us, uh, if we're not at 100, we're darn near close to it at this point. So uh, um, awesome return there. So, and I, you know, I, we, we've seen where guys will sign on the back of the cards. So um, getting anybody at this point to sign on the front of the card is always kind of nice. Um, and using a Sharpie instead of a ballpoint pen. So good stuff. All right, on to our last return for the day. So this one came to us out of the Great White North of Canada again. Um, again, hard to know exactly what we're getting here. So let's just dig right in and see what we get. All right, nice. Hockey Hall of Famer, Mike Gartner. Um, Gartner is a solid guy signing TTMs and... Uh, had a couple still out there that uh, that I, I think this one had been out for quite some time actually. Um, I'd, I'd have to go back and look because I don't I don't recall having sent anything recently out to him. Um, but I'd love to get one of his actual rookie cards signed. I just got to find one at a good price with that. So in the meantime, though, his eighty eighty one um, reprint card. Here, getting that signed and then the greats of the game so um two solid returns got a hall of famer in the day so that always makes it great so we ended up going five for five on the day um so let's do a little bit of a recap here we as we just saw we got our two of two from hall of famer mike gartner we got our three of three for our coca-cola nc state set from jim rissinger we got a nice four of four return back from Ottawa Senators legend, Alexander Digg. Oh, teaser with that. <laughs> uh, we got a nice solid 4-4 return back from Don Koharski. And then to wrap it up, a 3-3 three three return back from Justin Abdelkader. So, on the day, that puts us at 3, 6, 8, 10, 12, 16 graphs. So, awesome stuff there. Um... And then our one RTS, but we only we like to focus on the good stuff. Um, so, good day right there. Um, nice little mix of items here. Um, certainly more hockey flavor coming in there. Um, I've, I've kind of, not, I wouldn't say stepped away, but I, I haven't been doing as much baseball lately. Um, it's been kind of doing a bit more hockey. Um, I think that's because it's baseball season, so everybody is busy doing hockey, right? Or do, busy doing baseball. Um, off season, you tend to do a little bit better with that. Um, so good stuff here. Uh, I'm very pleased with the returns. So let's go ahead and wrap things up for today. Um, I appreciate everybody spending the time. Hope you enjoyed the video there. Um, and certainly drop in any comments, questions, concerns that you got or feedback. I'm happy to, uh, to hear from everybody there. And I appreciate, uh, any comments that you do send my way. And um, hopefully we'll get another video up here as we get closer towards the end of the week. But until then, I want everybody to keep having fun out there. Stay safe. Hope the mailboxes stay full of ink. Till next time, see ya.